Hi, this is Marcus Bruno, Bruno Fine Properties. I want to discuss with you why I think prices are going to be going up in the short term. And when I mean up, I mean highest they've ever been. Um, I'm going to take you to my charts. Basically, we're going to talk about the supply and demand um, of real estate in this market right now. Uh, before I get into that, I'd like to encourage you all to go uh, give a GoFundMe donation to a good friend of mine, Nirka Feliz, who just came down with cancer. Um, I know it would bless her so much if you could just spare a couple of dollars. I'll put that link in the remarks section underneath this video. But let's get to the charts. So again, we want to talk about supply and demand. Um, the demand for real estate is super high at this moment. Um, the two markets I serve is Houston and Washington, D.C. And if you want to look at Houston market, we've got 20% more pending sales, meaning 20% more properties under contract. 20% uh, more buyers are buying right now in the Houston area. In D.C., um, where the market is a, um, a lot more higher in price, we got 10% more buyers purchasing. So uh, when you talk about supply and demand, demand is very high which generally makes prices go up. Um, let's, look at, let's look at listings. At the moment in Houston and in DC, we've got 25 to 30% less listings than this time last year. So supply is down, way down, and um, demand is up. So these prices, at least until January or February, are gonna be incredibly high. Um, because everybody's gobbling up properties. Now, there are some threats to the price going up. Um, the first being, we've got 35 million people possibly facing eviction in the United States. Now, I talked to a landlord who was uh, in the business in 2008. He lost 75% of his tenants in that short term. So it could happen where there are so many landlords who are going under that those properties are gonna come on the market, which will inc increase supply, which will lower the price. Uh, so we have to look out for that. Also, forbearance continues um, to be an issue. 6% of, of, of all loans are in forbearance right now. Okay, so what does that mean to you? Let's say if you have 500 properties in your neighborhood, 6% of those are in trouble. So 30 out of 500 properties could go into foreclosure. So I don't know about you, but 30 properties coming on the market in my neighborhood is going to cause prices to come down. So those are two threats. And then the last threat to the market are interest rates. Now, everyone thinks that interest rates are gonna keep going down. However, in Canada, the Bank of Canada has decided to stop purchasing mortgage-backed securities. Now, in the United States, the Federal Reserve is the only buyer of mortgage-backed securities, and that's trillions of dollars of mortgages. Now, remember, right now, the market is super hot. Um, my lender is talking about taking 30 to 45 days to close a loan, which it used to only take them 20 days. So they're so jammed up with loans and if the Federal Reserve is not going to buy those mortgage-backed securities because they can't do it anymore, the rates are too low, the only thing that the, that the industry can do is raise rates, right? And, and raising rates to attract other investors is the only way uh, the mortgage market can keep uh, funding the deal. So... Um, Will the Federal Reserve continue to buy mortgage-backed securities at these low, low rates? We'll have to see, but that's another threat to the price of real estate. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help. Um, again, this is Marcus Bruno. You can reach me at 240-460-6318. Be more than happy to help. And please, I encourage you, donate a little bit to Nirka Felice's GoFundMe page. Um, God bless.